Hello Libra, welcome to your daily inspo. If you are new here, I'm Aji and this is Sacred Libra, where we talk all things Libra. How are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are doing well. Happy Wednesday. Happy Shadow Day. <laughs> All right, let's see what we have for you today. I don't really have a download for you. And also, we're still breaking from the shadow work. We're going to pick back up on the shadow work tomorrow. All right, we have a brand new home. Start packing. You're about to move. In the blessing bag, you are about to move. Akashic records are open to you. For some of you guys, this isn't an actual house, okay? Um, for some of you guys, this is you're moving to a new place, a new state. This could be with a person. Um, a lot of your relationships are about to expand. A lot of your relationships are about to form deeper commitments. It's because you are in a space in your life where you're changing, where you're seeing things and you're ready to be in alignment with the things that you want. So for some of you guys, there's a person where you guys are going to a new state. Um, in a relationship, this could also be a new state too. Somebody could be traveling with a person and that new state, the energy there it's going to deepen the connection, the relationship, deepen the bond, um, deepen the friendship, okay? Deepen the, the, the love relationship. But you're about to, it's time for you to start packing. And the reason why I start packing is because you're about to go, this place that you're in, you need to grab all the things that you need from this place because you're about to go to, you're about to get a new home. So you won't be able to have the things that you have here. Just think about, going into a new home. The things that you want to take with you, you take with you. You may have some furniture, um, TVs that you want to take. You may have, and then you may have a lot of things that you don't want to take. So when I'm thinking about start packing, also start throwing away, start emptying things, start getting rid of uh, stuff, start decluttering things that you don't need anymore, that you don't want to take with you in this new space. And what does this look like spiritually? It'd be taking those negative traits that you don't want. It'd be, it be throwing those out and taking the positive things that you learn, the new belief systems that you've adopted, getting out the old belief systems, the old stories you, you used to tell yourself and bringing in those new stories so now that you can have a new environment. Because if not, you might go to a new space. You might get into, start off at a, in a new place in a relationship or a new place physically but sooner or later, it's going to turn into the same old thing. You'll be battling the things that you used to battle. It's going to look, you're going to make that new house look like the old house just by the energy that you bring into it. So definitely be mindful of that. But start packing and also start decluttering because there's a lot of things that you don't need anymore. There's a lot of things that has no, uh, has no use for you anymore. There's a lot of things that you're not interested in anymore. I feel like somebody is changing like changing completely. Um, I, I don't know why I just got this download. I guess I do have downloads, but there's a person who could be reconciling with a person from their past and the person that you're reconciling with, they're realizing that, whoa, this is a totally new person. Like somebody is, and this doesn't have to be a relationship. This could be a friendship. This could be a business relationship. Um, and they're realizing that, wow, this person is a totally new person. Like they are totally new. They're not the same anymore. That's because you've gone to a different state in your, I guess, in your own type of spiritual spirituality. And you have taken things, thrown things out that you have no use for anymore. Thrown things out that you, that aren't serving you anymore. So now... You can actually pay attention to the things that are. You can actually grow the things that are, that stuff. Also, I'm getting another download. Okay, okay, downloads. I'm getting another download that somebody is completely unreachable. Like, they, you're unreachable. <clears throat> completely unreachable. All right. We have 
the lion. This is some shock from some type of bad news. This is some shock from some type of bad news here. <coughs> The lion is shocked. Now, I did a reading yesterday, and the lion was like someone else. So, we're going to see. The lion is shocked about some something. Shocked from bad news. You're surprised, or somebody around you could be surprised that something transpired that way. That it turned out that way. That this, this is actually what happened. It's like that surprise, like I can't believe it, but it's I can't believe this, this bad thing happened. Oh, I can't believe that this person did this, this thing or whatever. So we're going to get into it. Tell me more about what is the tarot energy? What's the tarot in energy shock from some bad news. This can have something to do. The King of Pentacles has been coming out for a while. Um, The King of Pentacles is coming out, and the King of Pentacles is alignment. Now, a lot of us, we think that we're not in alignment when bad stuff starts to happen. We think, and I don't know what spiritual person told us this, or who told us this, that when we're on the path of alignment, it's supposed to be peaches and cream. Absolutely not. So for some of you guys, you are actually on the right path. Don't let some type of bad news stop you and think that your whole path, you must be going the wrong way. No, there's obstacles on the right path too. There's obstacles that's there. That's on the right path for us. So I feel like while a person is in alignment on the right path, doing things that they need to do, you could have possibly gotten some bad news from something and you're shocked that this happened here or with this person or at this time or whatever. Shocked. You have the wheel of fortune though in the middle. So this is a, a complete change of events. Something completely changed. Why did I just say that I just heard somebody say, I thought I knew you. I thought I knew you. Mm. So it's that shock. So I feel like that there's a person who you thought that you knew. You thought that... Um, You thought that things were going good in a relationship or you thought something and something goes wrong with a person or you thought you knew better. You thought that you would have known better. This shock from bad news could be coming from you making some type of mistake. If this is you, make sure you be gentle with yourself. All right. So, but I'm getting in the energy like I thought I knew you. Somebody, somebody wants to, there's a person who you have in your mind that is the person that you've made up. And I do this all the time, all the time. And it's because I just can't help it. I do this all the time. Let me know if y'all do this. I give people way too much credit. Okay. <laughs> way too much credit. Now I have boundaries. I have boundaries. One of the things that I will say from my healing journey, my boundaries are there. I, I don't put myself in situations just because I don't want to hurt other people's feelings anymore. It's not my job to protect people's feelings. It's your job to protect your feelings, just like I got to protect my feelings. So I took that load of me making sure or being responsible how... Um, being responsible for people's happiness and 
making sure that they feel good all the time, people pleasing stuff, okay? And I left that alone because that shit was making me angry. And I was having like anger issues dealing with, like I would snap. And I, I thought it was cute, like growing up, like people would be like, she's a firecracker. She's like a pistol, like she's so sweet, but she would, but it was that people, it was me holding in because sometimes I didn't really want to do some of the stuff. So my boundaries, I have to give my um, myself from about like two years ago credit for me kind of establishing my boundaries um, and not being responsible for other people's uh, happiness. But I always give people the benefit of the doubt. Always. just I just don't think about people being all the way bad for some reason. I'm not trying to get close to them. I'm not trying to, but I'm not like, that is an evil person. I'm like, maybe that person has been through some shit that then turned them into da 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 That's just how I look at things. I don't look at stuff just all the way black and white. Somebody did a bad thing, so you're a bad person. No, I do a lot of bad shit. So I don't think that. Um, I've done a lot of bad stuff. If you were to judge me off of my, hey, Sagey. If you were to judge me off of my, you know, actions, I guess I would be a terrible person. To some people, I'm a terrible person, too. So, but giving a person the benefit, I didn't forget what the hell I was trying, I was trying to say. But I be giving people the benefit of the doubt all the time, even though I, I have better boundaries um, now. Way better boundaries, like like unreachable boundaries, like... You will not be able to reach me if you cross my boundary. And I'm not into, I sound like my mother. I'm not into uh, repeating myself. The moment I start to sound like a broken record, you lost me. <laughs> I'm not into repeating myself. And then I'm not into telling a grown person. Like I, one thing about me is accountability. I'm not into that. I didn't know what I did. I didn't know. I didn't know. You'll always be on the outside looking in because I can't trust you because you don't have a, you, you're not accountable for anything. If you are living your life and everything that happens is somebody else's fault, I kind of stay clear of that energy. Like really, like I can think you're a great person. I can think like this person just don't get it, but I, I'm going to stay clear. I'm going to keep you at an arm's length and that's just me protecting myself okay <laughs> me protecting myself um let's get right into this reading what's going on all right so right now the situation at hand is transformation hey butterfly the butterfly gang is here and in this transformation as you're growing as you're getting your wings there's so much chaos there's so many things that's happening um i feel like for some of you guys you are getting of course you are getting that um opening up to be a little bit more vulnerable so you can show a side a playful side of yourself a, a open side of yourself a loving side of yourself a nurturing side of yourself there's a side of you that you think that you have to protect. There's a side of you that you think that does not deserve the world to see it. And the world wants to see you. The world wants to see you shine. The world wants to see you fly. Also, I see the world is your, is your oyster. The world is your oyster. What's crossing this is Aspen Spirit. This is the carriage. Like I said, it's going to really be a lot for a person to start the packing process. It's going to be a lot for a person to start letting go things that don't serve them. And this will be in not taking everything, not wanting to take everything with you. So as you go into this new state, there is a need for you to take these new things with you. What have you learned? 
what have you learned just think about this the things it doesn't have to be like deep like for some of you guys it could be like i learned affirmations meditations going on walks um drinking my water and you know taking breaks from social media it could be I learned to be productive, spend more time on my business, on my work, or productivity. I'm gossip less, and it doesn't really have to be too much. I learned to ask for affection when I need it instead of throwing hissy fits when I don't get what I want. I learned to ask for things that I need. I may need to be kissed. I may need to be held right now. I learned to. I learned how to ask for those things instead of arguing so we can make up and I can get those things that I want. You know, girls, we know y'all know we do that, right? And a lot of that comes from daddy issues. A lot of that comes from not being able to get that male affection that you needed or not being able to get that care or attention that you needed until you did something wrong. So would it translate to in adult talk is I love makeup sex or makeup, you know, whatever, because it will be that affection that you normally want or the aggression or a way that you want something done, but you don't know how to voice that. You don't know how to say that this is what I want from you right now. This is what my body is calling. This is what I need. For some of you guys, you learn how to say that. For some of you guys, you learn how to control your emotions and that's all that's the bag that you're taking with you I'm taking my controlled emotions with me and I'm leaving the rest <laughs> for some of you guys speaking the rest you learn how to rest how to give yourself rest I feel like the courage to let these things go I feel like for some of you guys you could be making it harder than it actually has to be what are the things that you have found yourself enjoying? That have you found yourself feeling good for your body? Like, what are the things that you like to do? S some of you guys could have found in drinking more water or going dairy-free or taking cheese out, out of your diet or red meat or eliminating chicken or something like that, and you feel good. What makes you feel good? I, I, like, it's like feng shui, okay? It's like you're taking with you in this new house all the things that makes you feel good. I think it's a show called Tidying Up. And you look at all the things in your house and you like, what is the feeling when I see this? Does this make me feel good? This makes me feel luxurious. This makes me feel sexy. This makes me feel at peace. This makes me feel a little unbalanced but I got it because it was you know some things we put in our houses our how our homes and just as I'm saying that I'm looking at this decoration that I do not like <laughs> just as I'm saying that I'm looking at this decoration that I'm like why did I get that but just because it was a gift <laughs> And I'm like, I got to take that. I'm taking that down today because I don't, every time I see it, I'd be like, and you don't need something in your house like that. I'm just being 100% real. And like spirit just looked at that like, oh, you mean like that thing that you got up there that you like, why is that there? Why do I have that? For some of you guys, it's something that's in your house. It's something that's. That's there. It could be something that's inside of you that you or something that you keep on doing that you don't necessarily like that you keep on doing, but everybody's doing it. So. I feel like, you know, when they say easier said than done, this is easier done than you actually sit in there saying it. It comes to a place of what makes me feel good. And it's OK for you to be surrounded with all things that make you feel good. In this life, where we're going to hit walls, obstacles, trials, tribulations all the time, in this life, it's okay for you to pack your house with things that make you feel good. God gonna handle the rest. <laughs> you don't need to pack your house with struggle. You don't need to pack your house with obstacle. You don't need to pack your house with that. You already gonna go through it in the world. 
So in your house, that's why your home is supposed to be your peace, your safe haven. It's supposed to smell like the scent that, that, that relaxes you or the scent that makes you feel sexy or makes you feel rich or makes you feel calm. Okay, so speaking of Aspen Spirit, I want to go to um, Aspen, Colorado. Shout out to Aspen, Colorado. For some of you beautiful butterflies, you're all over this carriage here. You see these butterflies here? All over this Aspen spirit. All this carriage here. All over this. Like I said, something is easy. It's like, why didn't I been do that? Why didn't I already do that? Mmm. You believe in a contract. You believe in a sacred contract. A covenant. The sacred contract. A commitment. You believe in this new commitment that you're making to yourself. Getting back to integrity. Getting back to you. There is a lot of re reconciliations that's going on. For some of you guys, like I said... It's a brand new person that you could be dealing with. There's somebody like brand new. And this could be you reconciling with the person. They're realizing that you are brand new, a brand new home. So you believe in some type of agreement or some type of contract or some type of commitment, a sacred contract, a sacred commitment. This would have to be with yourself. You're having a challenge finding inspiration. Mm. You're having a challenge finding the inspiration to move out of a situation. You're having a hard time finding that inspiration that is going to inspire you to do something new, inspire you to transform into something new. You understand about this sacred contract. That you are, I feel like this is a part of a contract. This is also divine intervention or divine planning, divine order that's happening here. But this, for some of you guys, you could be going through some type of creator's block too. For some of you guys, you could be like, every time you deep dive into a task, you hit like a wall. Blocked. Go back in, I want to do this, boom, blocked, hit a wall. But there's, you, I feel like, there needs to be some type of joyful muse, happy muse, happy inspiration. For some of you guys, your inspiration comes out of pain or sadness. You know, when anger be like, I'm going to show them or I'm about to get on my, I'm about to. What about the happy inspiration, the happy, the joyful muse, the things that, you know, makes you happy. And it's, you know, that that type of inspiring instead of sad, because sadness can inspire you angry and um, anger can inspire you, too. All right, let's see. In the past, you'd had some type of completion, closed the door, moved to a new level. In the past, you completed some type of task which moved you to this next level. So the fact that you're here, this lets you know that you have leveled up from your past. You're not the same. Like I said, your growth. Somebody is growing. And right now, you are having spiritual narcolepsy. The falling angel.
this is a this is like a call to like action. This is also like an eviction notice. It's like an eviction notice um, because there's a need for you to release these things that no longer serve you because the reason why you have these things, that is because of groupthink. And some of you, and we talked about this yesterday, some of you guys, you are in the middle of what these people say and what you really want, straddling between the worlds, between what the group is saying and what the um, what spirit is saying or what your truthful inspiration is saying, what you are actually saying. And it's left you sleep. It has left you sleep. As it's almost giving back to this thing like, well, what do you want to do? And that could be like, I thought I knew you. I thought I knew who this person was. No, you knew who I was pretending to be. Or you knew who my representative was. You didn't know who I was. I didn't show you that. I'm still getting the energy of I thought I knew you. I'm going to pull for the, um, the lion here. I'm going to definitely pull some uh, tarot for the lion. But let's go ahead and finish out this reading. Let's see. <clears throat> okay, it's it's time. You got TikTok. This is your approach that you're taking. It's time. Breathe. Some, it's time for a nap. There is something that happened in your life that it was faded. There's something that happened that was not for you. And you could be bothering yourself about like, did I make the wrong mistake? I should know this thing was not for you. And you completed, you closed the door or a door was closed or the, the relationship is over or something or the, the job or whatever is over. And This was faded. This was not for you. Something wasn't for you. And you could feel bad that you find out that this thing was not for you. It wasn't. Okay. The people around you. This is the, this is the spiritual narcolepsy. I trying to get get you to go to sleep. The people are around you. This is also faded too. You're in a actually very very divine space in your in your life. And I feel like I thought I knew you comes from these other people that you thought you knew. This is all a part of your alignment. These people around you are trying to get you to go to sleep or trying to get you to sleep on something, not see something, drain you out. It's not in the, it's not in the assistance of like, I need you to take some rest because you've been working so hard. No, it's like I need you to be drained and sleepy and like somebody is tiring you out and this is also so there's a need for you to so, there's something that you can't control and there's something that you can control again something's not for you right now you're going to be realizing that something's not for you so it's not even necessarily about you taking the house I mean getting stuff out of the house it's just right now this house this place that you've been living this place that you've been getting comfortable in this is not for you. 
I don't know who that is for. Let's see. <clears throat> Your hopes is that you can actually come up with the right thing. You have the thinker. The thinker here. <clears throat> Let me see what it says. In the book, let's see really quickly. You hope that you can come up with a nice strategy. This is weighing the pros and cons of your relationships and not fo forcing it to work. And when other people tell you who they are, take it, believe them. When they tell you who they are, believe them. This would be the shock because you thought you knew a person because you made up something in your head. You didn't take them from face value of who they are. Okay. All right. So let's see. And your outcome would be the observer. And what you are doing is you are observing the co-creator release something and mend something back together. Because we do have reconciliations that's happening. For some of you guys, it's just you are going to be reuniting with people, places, things in your life. But what you're doing is you're about to observe how the universe is about to work and remove things only. Only if you would let the, the, the God, God, okay? <laughs> Only if you would let God, God, okay? There's something that you can see from a distance. You're put up in a, in a perfect distance. So right now, God is distancing you. And you may get some bad news to help you distance, but you're about to move to a brand new home. And God is showing you that these people cannot come. The people who cannot come with you, they're about to start doing some crazy things. And they're about to start doing some things. You're about to start seeing their true face. And don't you once believe that this is a different person? This is a different person. This is not the person I know. No, God is taking off their mask and revealing this is who they are. Okay? This is who a person is. You're about to take a few steps back from a person. You are about to start observing what you see in yourself, what you see in other people. You know that right now, this is the time for you. Right now, it's only right. So this is really, really powerful. This is this thing like I thought I knew you. This is going to be the big reveal. For some of you guys, it's going to be a lot. All right, let's see. Tell me more about the lion. I feel like this is the person, but tell me more about the lion. The magician. The magician is here, the manipulator. Wow. Somebody is finally seeing a person for who they are. A manipulator. Someone is a master manipulator or somebody was a mastermind at something. At first you couldn't see it, but now you actually see it. You see how a person is manipulating the situation. 
And this is drama field. Somebody is stirring up some drama. This could be within you. This could be around you. Somebody is stirring up some drama. They're just mixing in the pot together, manipulating things and doing this and doing that. And you're about to see because you're going to a brand new home and that person can't come. All right. So that is your daily inspo. I hope this reading resonates with you. If it does, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.